beloved one i hope you are doing well i want us to take a short reading from the book of psalms chapter 127 it says if god's grace doesn't help the builders they will labor in vain to build a house if god's mercy doesn't protect the city all the centuries will circle it in vain it's really a senseless to work so hard from morning till late at night toiling to make a living for fear of not having enough now god can provide i want you to see that it says god can provide for his devoted lovers even while they sleep now this tells us of the great things that we enjoy any time we come into God's presence. It tells us of the blessings we enjoy any time we are with God. And then we can do this through prayer, through the word of God, and even as we are about listening to that. So I want us to do something. We are going to like this video. So then please hit on the like button if you have not done so. This helps YouTube recommend this video out there to anyone, so everyone can have access to it. Also, by doing this, you help in the spread of the gospel and of the good work of this channel. Then, don't forget to leave a comment in that comment section. Hit on that subscribe button if you haven't done so and you are new here. And then get on to the notification bell and do us the favor of tapping on it too. You were blessed and stay blessed. Forever you're the same. I got my to give my mind. My, my.
we give God all the praise for 2014, just express your praise and thanksgiving. Lord, we thank you for 2013, for the mighty things that you did in our midst. We bless you. We bless you. We bless you for being John 3, John 3, verse 2, we are going to thank God for his presence, John 3, we are telling you we are thankful and we need to give God thanks, hallelujah, the same came to Jesus by night and said unto him, Rabbi, we know who thou art, a teacher come from God, read the remaining part, one to go, for no man can do these miracles except God be with him. No ministry can make an impact like this except God be with him. Jesus told them that no kingdom divided against against itself shall stand. Hallelujah. He said, how can one of them will cast bread into the sea? But he said, if I by the spirit of God do what they do. The Bible said, and the Lord is walking with them concerning the word, not their word, the word which saved them. Hallelujah. I want us as a church to embrace the word more and more, more than what we've been doing. We cannot begin to tell you the mighty things, the revelation, access to truth, the supernatural way that God brought people to this place. Don't take it for granted. Bless him. What he did for your family, the healings, the miracles, the salvations, the transformations. Bless him. Inside and outside, no matter how far you are, make sure you are giving him praise. We have no right to expect anything for 2014 if we are not grateful for what he has done for us. We give you praise for your word, for divine help. He said, if the Lord had not been on our side, now may Israel say,
that's the greatest asset we have. Beyond anointing, beyond skills, beyond revelation, we thank you for your presence. I've said it again, men can fake power, but you cannot fake the presence of God. Make sure you are praying. Let there be a song of praise in your heart. Sing praises, declare. Lord, thank you. I want you to take a quick look at January, February 2013. March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. For preservation, we say thank you. For wisdom, we say thank you. For protection, for security, for prosperity. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. I want you to thank him for this year, 2013, because I'm telling you, he says, the glory of the latter rain shall be greater than the former, the glory of the latter rain. And when I'm talking about that house, I'm not talking about big building, I'm talking about you, the glory, the glory of your life. For the glory of the Lord is risen upon me. I know the power of the Lord is risen upon me. Greater glory. I see the glory of the Lord. I'd like you to see a new dimension in your life. I'd like you to see a new level of influence. I see the glory of the Lord. I see the glory of the Lord is risen upon me. So I rise and shine. My light has come. My light has come. And the glory of the Lord. And the glory of the Lord is risen upon me. I will arise and shine. this year. I believe it. Hallelujah. 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 Just one scripture before we sit down. Amos chapter 3. Amos chapter 3. Thank you, Sister Baba. Amos chapter 3, verse 3. The glory of the Lord is risen upon me. Hallelujah. The Bible says it shall come to pass in that day, not this scripture now, just get it for me. judge all nations with justice. Hallelujah. Amos 3 verse 3. Can we read one to me? Answer the question. This is a question the Lord is asking you this year. Can you walk with us? In other words, are you ready to be separated? You can't walk together if you do not separate. There are many things that the Spirit of God wants to communicate, but get out of the way. I want to walk with you. There are great things. Jesus
of Jesus said, I have many things to tell you, but you cannot bear them now. He said, how can you when he, the spirit of truth, is come? He said, he will guide you. He will take up the things that are now and he will show you. And so God, the first question God is asking us, the final question he's asking for him is that where are you going? Because he hardly dwelt yet. The Bible says they limited God in the wilderness by saying, can God prepare a table in the wilderness? Hallelujah. In Hebrews chapter 4, the Bible began to speak to us about the Sabbath, the rest of God. He said they perished in the wilderness. They perished in the wilderness. Because when the word of the Lord came, they doubted, can God make a table? Where will he get the materials to make a table? And the Bible says they limited God. And God in his anger swore that they shall not enter his rest. And the Bible says there remained this same rest for the people of God. Although they are the people of God, there remained this rest. He said, let it be that today if you hear his voice, harden not your heart as in the provocation in the wilderness. tonight then God himself should get the ball rolling. Please especially for those of you outside I hope you are following. Don't let anything limit you. Many of us last year were just spectators just debating can God really do this? Can God really do that? Please there are some of us who are coming here for the first time. You've heard about the things. Let me tell you your unbelief, the Bible says, shall their unbelief make the faith of God of none effect. That means your unbelief will not stop God from being God, but it will stop you from entering that new level. So can two walk together? Can two walk together? I'd like you to pray one prayer and say, Lord, I'm ready to walk with you. I believe you inside and outside, no matter how far you are. Make sure you are praying. Don't be distracted. Lord, this is the year that I'm a believer. Logic will not stand my way. The challenges and failures of last year will not stand my way. 
I don't want to be a fool. I believe you. I choose to walk with you. I choose to walk with you. Hallelujah. When you believe the reality of God, you walk as light in it. But it's always been our culture as a ministry. See, let me tell you, the secret of the hand of God upon our lives is we always find out what God is doing through you. And we plunge into the global implication. Not just what God is doing and stop telling. It's always our culture to find out. What are you doing? The Bible says there were certain men called the sons of Peter. They took time to understand the time. He said he made light to signify times and seasons. Hallelujah. And so it's our, it's our job to be able to, there are many people who preach that at the end of the year, into the new year is irrelevant. You go and read the Bible why he made stars to signify times and seasons. As far as the earth realm is concerned, it functions with time. Eternity does not work with time. But the earth realm is bounded by time. That's why the prophet could speak and say, I'm set in the time of God. The Bible will say, in the seventh year of the fifth month, of this and that, God, God is a God of prophetic time. Hallelujah. And so I need you to understand that in this season, there are certain things that God is doing as set in the earth realm. There are certain things God is doing in the continent of Africa. There are certain things he's doing in the nation of Nigeria. And there is a role we have to play. It is this role that is articulated in our time for the kingdom. This is why many ministries have different things that God told them. Hallelujah. And so, the first revelation about the prophetic word is that it shows you God's expectation for you for the year. It's not just about receiving. It's an indication of responsibility. That there is a role that you have to play. telling the leaders during our meeting and I told them that this is not the kind of ministry that you always do meeting. Let me say, all we are concerned about, I prayed a prayer and said, Lord, I don't want a, all I want is impact. Impact upon the body of Christ. Many armed robbers in Nigeria were famous for causing disaster in Nigeria. God asked me this morning, 
Somebody must support you and other men to do it. Is that true? So, this is not the year you will expect God to send you village. This is the year you will send him. Thank God. Maybe you will see a reward in the way you will send him. But this year, hallelujah. Good to see everyone. Please hug everyone around you. Happy New Year. Inside and outside, make sure you greet somebody with a great smile. As you sit down, let's just get to the word very quickly. Hallelujah. Never forget you are here in life and for a reason. You are great. You don't need us to exalt you. There is no one else like you. There is no one else like you. You are great. You do miracles so great. There is no one else like you. There is no. give him all the praise for his presence. Moses said, if your presence dwell not with us, do not take us from here. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. It's our year of light and dominion. That's what the Lord spoke to us, and I'll be sharing light. I'll be opening up up the revelation. What, what is the meaning of this year? Hallelujah. Oftentimes, God communicates his intention to you so that he speaks messages. Hallelujah. So we call this our grand grace that that revelation is opened up. When there is an opening of God's word, we can believe and we can walk in that reality. Hallelujah. So what is the meaning of it being the year of light? What does that mean? Let's give the year of dominion a try. What does it mean? What is the light about? Hallelujah. A year of light. There are two dimensions to this prophetic word that I'm giving you all this year of light. The first is that God wants us to have light. And the second dimension that is that he wants us to become light. So he wants us to have light. Hallelujah. And then he wants us to become. The first dimension is the inner emotions of life in and through us. And then the second dimension is what we will become in the world. And, and I'm going to just share very quickly. Hallelujah. So God wants us to have light. You cannot become what you are not. I mean, you cannot reflect what you are not. Is that true? And so he wants us to become. To as many as believe in him, he gave them power to become. He gives you power to become. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Psalm 119, verse 1 through 0. Psalm 119, verse 130. Please make sure you're writing. What does it mean to have light? What is light? What is God really saying? When he says it's a season, it's a year of light. What is his expectation? What is in the mind of God? Because the Bible tells us that the Holy Spirit can search the mind of God and make known unto us the accurate intentions and counsel of God. Psalm 119. The entrance of thy words giveth light. And it giveth understanding to the simple. He said the entrance. Can we have other versions? Is that possible? Okay. Uh, let's try New Living Translation. NLT. 
put it beautifully. The teaching of your word gives life. Hallelujah. The teaching of your word gives life. So even the simple, even those who are void of understanding. Hallelujah. The entrance of thy word. Question. If you pick up your Bible and read, it didn't say the seeing. It didn't say the speaking. It said the entrance. So, how can what you are reading enter you? This is a mystery. He said, if it does not enter you, it cannot give you life. It can be stored as scripture, but it only becomes light if it enters you. The entrance of thy word giveth life and even understanding at the same time. So what is the revelation behind life? Write it. The first revelation behind light is that light symbolizes supernatural insight into scriptures. Supernatural insight. When God says it's a year of light, that means he's granting us unusual access into scripture. Insight. Uncommon insight. Opening us up to understand the hidden mysteries. The hidden mysteries that are encoded in scripture. Now you may ask, why do we need these mysteries? You see, because the Bible says God made many lights. Is that true? But he made one light to rule. So there is a relationship between light and dominion. He said he made two great lights. And that light, although there were many lights, the coming of that light enforced his dominion. It ruled in the day and ruled in the night. So the greater your light, the greater you are able to walk in this authority and dominion. But since that light comes through the word of God, we need insight. Are you following me now? Let's see 2 Corinthians 4 verse 6 quickly. 2 Corinthians 4 verse 6. Second Corinthians 4 verse 6. If you can give us the NLT or the message, anyone that is available. Hallelujah. Please read it. The message. Very interesting. It started when God said, Light up the darkness and our lives filled up with light as we saw and understood God in the face of Jesus Christ. All bright and beautiful. He said, as we saw and understood. Hallelujah. King James says, God who had commanded light to shine out of darkness hath shined in our heart. To bring to us the knowledge of the glory of God as seen on the face of Jesus Christ. So light connotes insight. Depth of insight. Brothers and sisters, let me tell you the truth. We really, really need the light of God. Accurate insight into the word of God. Because Jesus Christ was cautioning the people and he said, Be careful lest your light be not darkness. That means, be careful so that what you are calling light may not really be darkness. Hallelujah. Luke 11, I believe. Luke 11, 35. Let's look at it. Luke 11, 35. Shiba kabra busita lababashi. Just give us an um, amplified. Amplified. Okay. Or you can just leave it. It says, take heed, therefore, let's start from 34. 34. The light of the body is the eye. Is that true? It says, therefore, when thy eye be single, thy whole body is full of light. But when your eye is evil, your body is full of darkness. 35. It says, be careful, therefore, that the light that's in you is not darkness. There are many people carrying revelations they think is light, but it's darkness. Are you getting me? So God is saying, as you begin to explore the things you are calling light, contend for accurate insight, so that you will not be carrying a revelation that is darkness. Whereas you convince yourself that I have Rema. There, there are all kinds of revelations in the body of Christ. 
And the Lord is saying, be careful. So that what you keep celebrating because of the flamboyancy, be careful. Let you not be beguiled by darkness. I'm telling you the truth. There are many people carrying darkness around because it sounds good and sounds spiritual. Hallelujah. Because when it is light, it should set people free. It should deliver people. It says the words that I speak unto you, they are spirit. So, this is the year to guard your heart with all diligence. And make sure that that which you uphold and absorb in your spirit is light indeed. For the Bible says it is possible that a man can carry darkness and believe he's holding on to light. Many people have been holding on to dark theologies, dark mindsets, dark philosophies for decades. Many of our family members have held on to teachings that were taught by prophets, apostles, teachers, evangelists. They will not let it go. And the Bible says, be careful so that what you are carrying, if it's a terrible thing when you are holding darkness and you want that darkness to bring light, Hallelujah. Supernatural insight. So that God brings us into light indeed. Hallelujah. It's a very painful thing if after many years you find out that what you've held on to and argued all your life was a lie. Is that true? There are many people who have held on to a lot of things. The baptism in the Holy Spirit for instance. There are so many people who have held on to all of this theology. There's nothing like that. Deliverance for instance. There are many people who have held on to it. Oh, I'm born again. Everything is all right. But there is darkness in this family. And they will not confront it. No, there's nothing wrong. I'm fine. Until they become acute victims. And the Bible says, be careful. So this is the year when you will edit the things that you have kept in your spirit. And throw out anything that is not consistent with the word of God. No matter how long, it will require humility. Because some of us have argued over darkness for a long time. Hallelujah. Number two, light connotes understanding and comprehension. It's not enough to know. It's not enough to know. You must understand. Job 32 verse 8, Elihu began to speak. And he said, but there is a spirit in man. He said, and the inspiration of the almighty he didn't say gives men knowledge, make it men of understanding. There is a difference between knowledge. Knowledge tells you what is available. It creates awareness. Understanding guides you on how to apply it accurately. I've always used the example. Knowledge is that when you want to make jollof rice, for instance, you need rice, you need pepper, you, that's knowledge. Understanding tells you when to combine what ingredient where. Because that you have rice and you have this does not mean you can cook. Many people have knowledge that puffs up. The Bible says ever learning but never coming to the comprehension. So we have so many spiritual laws around us. But we do not understand what principles are responsible for what. So we just use any kingdom principle when occasion serves us. When you are afraid, the nearest thing is the blood of Jesus or Holy Ghost fire or, or the anointing of the Holy Spirit or prayer or agreement. All of these things are spiritual keys. And you understanding is the ability to gain mastery over the operation. The operations of the kingdom. It's not enough to know. It's not enough to know. There is a spirit in man. And the breath of the Almighty can make what you know become understanding. He explains to you. He opens it up so that you are not confused. What makes a doctor a consultant? Listen, listen. Almost there are many things that a fresh doctor knows or a consultant knows that the fresh doctor knows, but he doesn't have understanding. Praise the Lord. When, when a consultant is carrying out surgery, he doesn't bring a special knife. Is that true? It's the same knife, the same everything. But there is understanding. And this is what many of us need to have. Understanding. Understanding. 
So that when you see something happening in your family, you are not confused. You don't panic. You know the exact spiritual law to bring into place. This is what spiritual maturity is all about. Hallelujah. I've said it again and again. The opposite of fear, in my opinion, is not faith. The opposite of fear is understanding. You always fear what you don't understand. There's nobody doubting that the chair you are sitting on now can hold your weight. Is that true? Anything you truly understand, you don't become afraid of it again. A pilot can man an airplane, a big airplane, because he has understanding. And he's not afraid that a tiny man can drive hundreds of people, thousands of feet above sea level because of understanding. Hallelujah. Somebody else can sit on that plane and say, I believe we will not die. That you were not afraid and you died courageously does not mean, are you getting my point now? It's not about dying courageously, it's about not dying. Because at that point, you are flying people. The plane is nose diving and you are saying, I know, <laughs> we will arrive. Nobody should be still in this plane. You are falling. Get understanding. Hallelujah. Get understanding. Number three, light brings direction. And every time there is direction, there is an end to confusion. Direction. Psalm 119 verse 105. Are you getting blessed tonight? So that we don't just say light, 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 light. Direction. The reason why many people run to prophets and apostles and people around is direction. People want direction in every area of their life. Direction. People go to herbalists because they want direction. What is wrong in our family and what is the way out? Direction. So when God says it's a year of light, it means that there is an unusual grace to bring accurate direction to your life. Hallelujah. It says, your word is a lamp unto my feet. And a light to my path. A lamp to my feet. A light to my path. That means an end comes to confusion. Because he will begin to let me see. The Bible says, you shall hear a voice from behind saying, this is the way. Not these are the ways. Choose. This is the way. Walk ye in it. And he said, you will find rest for your soul. Many of us are trusting God. What job to do? Many of us are trusting God. Where to settle down? All kinds of things. Many of us are trusting. Our family members are confused. What business to do? What can I do? Everybody is asking questions. This year, if you believe God, God is saying, I will come to you. You will hear my voice in the night. God will just come and bring direction. Direction that you've been waiting for years. God will say, this is it. Walk in it. Wise men saw the star from the east and it began, they began to follow that light until they arrived at where Jesus was. No confusion. They followed the light. For as long as they kept looking at the light, it kept directing them until it settled. May the Lord take the light and drop where your destiny needs to go and that you will just follow that light into unending levels of blessings and success. Light. Oh, how we need direction. How we need direction. Hallelujah. Somebody just gets up and feels like you want to go to Saminaka. You see, there is nothing as terrible as being in a place where God is not. Because he's not committed to defend you. Hallelujah. Psalm 43 verse 3. Very interesting scripture. Direction. Hallelujah. Where we are today by the grace of God as a ministry is a product of divine direction. The ability to hear God. A lot of people say, I can be anywhere and I will succeed. Try it. 
The Bible says whatsoever he does prospers. Whatsoever he does prospers because it is directed. I prophesied as I was commanded, not as I wished, as I was commanded. Hallelujah. Oh, send out thy light and thy truth. Let them lead me. Let them bring me unto your holy hill and unto your tabernacle. Let your light lead me. This must be your prayer. Send your light. Hallelujah. Send your light. Let your light lead me. Light means light. L-I-F-E. Connotes light. John 8, 12. We can have it in the Amplified. John 8, 12. Very powerful scripture. I'm telling you all of the things that are encapsulated in this word light. John 8, 12. Once more, Jesus addressed the crowd. He said, I am the light of the world. He who follows me will not be walking in darkness, but will have the light, which is... There is revelation that you have that will translate into the quality of your life. Are you getting my point? It says that this light, this year, can bring life to you. They are life to those who find them and help. That means the revelation you get can be what will be responsible for divine help. So that it's no longer an issue of guesswork. Hallelujah. Light. The light you have can put you in command of unbelievable realms of wealth and prosperity. And it can add to the quality of your life. One department came to meet me and we were interacting with them and my heart broke so much. I was talking with them and just asking them their expectations for the year and what they want God to do for their life and family. I think almost everyone, their, their requests were just, or their expectations, intimacy with God and financial breakthrough for my family. There are many families that need the mercy of God. Is that true? It's easy for everybody to wear suit and come and sit down and rest. But the Bible says, if you follow me, you will get light that will translate into light. Prosperity is a formula. It's not guesswork. It is specific. It is exact. And this is the year that you will know it for yourself. Hallelujah. As a ministry, we are unapologetic about wealth and prosperity. I'm not one of those many preachers that say, no, there's no problem. Just seek God. No. We believe. John Wesley said, any religion that does not cater for the economic well-being of the people is an irresponsible religion. We don't want people coming to worship and bow down and cry only to get up and go into prostitution and arm robbery and occultism because of lack. We don't want to hear that our parents are moving out. Landlords are kicking them out of the house and every kind of thing happening. When you are blessed, it gives you options and you can choose to serve God. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. There are many people who, get, who want to get married. For years, they've been trusting God, but there's no money. It's a terrible thing. Many of our family members want to do a lot of things. There are many of our family members, our parents are almost 60, 70 years. They cannot boast of one good house. Not even a good car to help them. It's, not, it's, it's an anomaly. But this year, we will change it by the power of the light of God. Remember, God asked you a question. Can two walk together? Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Light also means showing forth. Ah, this is the part I like. Light connotes a display, a revelation, a manifestation, an unveiling. Isaiah 60 verse 1. Arise, shine. Not because you have entered a new year. Arise, shine because your light has finally arrived. 
That revelation, amplified, please. Can we see it? Isaiah 60 verse 1. Amplified puts it in a beautiful way. Arise from the depression and prostration which circumstances have kept you. It says rise to a new life. This is a prophecy for somebody. It said arise. This is a prophecy for a family. Arise from the depression, this degradation that circumstances have kept you. It says rise to a new life. It says shine. Be radiant with the glory of the Lord. Why? For your light has come. This is what many of us will be telling our family members. I tell you, this year, this year, some of you will single-handedly go home and just gather your family members and say, salvation has come. What is wrong? What needs to be done in this family? Saviors, the Bible says, shall come out of Zion. It's time, this is the year your Christianity will have practical evidence to your loved ones. Don't blame them for going to Habalist until you can prove that there is a superior government that reigns on the earth. Don't blame them for going to witch doctors. Are you getting my point? Don't blame them for traveling around. We keep criticizing people rather than contending to deliver what is authentic. Let me tell you something. I showed the welfare department. Yeah, that was the department that came to see me. I showed them a video. Pastor Jakes called me and said, Josh, you need to see an incredible video. I said, really? What's the video? And he showed me the link. I, I'm sure some of you have heard it. About a lake that just appeared in the east. There was an explosion. And the lake just appeared. And muddy lake. But it seemingly had the power to heal people. Thousands of people at once. They went there. No protocol. No welfare. No suit. Nobody called apostle. People were coming from all over. Men, you can keep criticizing. Human beings are too desperate to listen to you. If you cannot bring the authentic light, stop wasting your time. Are you getting my point? Watch the video and see people almost naked. They were videotaping them. They were bathing in the muddy water. That's because we men of God have failed them. We can stand and brag and make noise. And they will listen to us. Immediately they finish, they will travel and continue. People were cutting the tree. They were cutting the tree in the river just to take home. Paradventure, it will be responsible for healing and prosperity. And all of them, most of the people there said it has to be Jesus. How are you going to tell them this thing is demonic? When they sat down in your assembly for years and nothing happened. Are you getting my point? Let me tell you something. People are more desperate than ever. No rema. There was no man of God that came to compare spiritual things with spiritual things. The people were not daft. They came from all over. They were to an extent, brothers and sisters, that they were digging into the ground. And when they saw water, they just fetched it. People made money selling jerry cans, selling suya, selling, you know, the bike people. The bike people, they were interviewed and they were happy. They said, this has to be God. We've never had it this good. They said, do you plan for this water to stop? Say, why? No. Why? This is prosperity. I mean, ah. We are very unapologetic about the fact that it is God's desire to bless you. Prosperity does not take people to hell. It's materialism that takes people to hell. And materialism is not having materials. Materialism is the influence of what you have on your relationship with God. Hallelujah. Lazarus went to heaven with his poverty. Abraham with his prosperity is still in heaven. It was not too much money or lack of money that took them. Many of the requests of our family members, for some of us, the whole request of our family members, what can bring peace in our entire family is not more than 100,000. And then they go to a herbalist and give him 20,000 and it doesn't work. They now go and borrow 50,000 and give him because they are looking for solution. May you be that light this year. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. We arise and shine. Our light is come. For the glory of the Lord is risen upon us. 
We arise and shine. A light is come. See the glory of the Lord is risen. Hallelujah. Insight, understanding, direction, light is showing forth. The Bible says that we have been called out of darkness into his marvelous light. We, we should show forth. Comes from the Greek word doxazo. A display of the degree of a king's splendor. Hallelujah. It was the custom of kings in ancient times that when they achieved certain feats, they will call people to come and celebrate with them. This was the case with King Ahasuerus. And so he brought them to come and see his provinces. This year, may the Lord make you an object of praise. That he will use you as a testament of what he can do with a man. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. When you have all of this, then you can now become the light. You can now become the light. What does it mean to become the light? It means to become a standard. It means it, it, to become a pattern. To become a reference. Hallelujah. That when they are looking for a genuine, authentic Christian, you can be a reference. Matthew 5, from verse 14 to 16. Matthew 5, verse 14 to 16. The Bible says, you are the light. Matthew 5, you are the light of the world. The light of this system, cosmos. You are a city that is set on a hill that cannot be hidden. That means whatever has covered your life this year must give way. You are a city set on a hill and cannot be hidden. Verse 15. Nor do they light a lamp and put it under a basket. He said, but on a lampstand. And it will give light. Because of you, many people. You will be like the ark of Noah. That incorporated. There are people who are not even born again. But because of your presence. The, the, the span of your light will cover certain people. There are many of our loved ones that need us. Without us, they may die. And the Bible says it gives life to all who are in the house. Verse 16. Let, permit your light. Let it so shine. Before who? Not before trees. God wants your light. That which he has made you become. He wants it to shine before men. That they may see your good works. And glorify your father in heaven. Hallelujah. So as an individual, you will become a standard this year. That you will be a portrait of a balanced Christian. Holy, prosperous, healthy. Genesis 24 verse 1. It says, and Abraham was old and well stricken in age. And God had blessed him in all things. All things. All things. This is the year we will contend for every part of our life to look like the image of the Christ. Hallelujah. You must contend. Not that you'll be prosperous and be sickly. Not that you'll be healthy. No, no. Every area of your life. Let your light so shine before men. That they may see your good works. And glorify your, your father in heaven. As a ministry, this is our prophetic destiny. The standard. Isaiah 49 verse 6. Oh, I believe this with all my heart. Oh, speak from the heavens and the earth will hear. Oh, speak from your throne and the earth will hear. Send your word from your throne and the earth will hear my altar is calling you oh God my altar is calling you oh God 
take my praise, oh God. Take my praise. Lord, my worship is calling you, oh God. My worship is calling you. God gave me this specific word. I shared it with the leaders. This is what God is going to be doing with us. And he said, it is a light thing that thou shouldest be my servant. This is what we have been doing. To raise up the tribes of Jacob and to restore the preserved of Israel. But this is the new mandate. I will also give thee for a light to the Gentiles. It says that thou mayest be my salvation, not bring it, be it. You will become a representation of my salvation even to the ends of the earth. It says you have been faithful raising people, training people, building people. I now measure a thousand cubits and I increase capacity. It said I will also, in addition to what you are doing, I will give you as a light. I will give you as a light unto the Gentiles that thou mayest be my salvation to the ends of the earth. This is what God is going to do this year. And then he will bring us through this light into a realm of dominion. Rulership. Let me show you one very powerful scripture. Zechariah 1.21 Dominion means absolute control. It means rulership, sovereign authority, the ability to be in charge and to be in control. Hallelujah. This dominion is not just dominion over men, but dominion over first the forces of darkness. Are you getting my point? Then said I, what come this to do? Amplified, please. Can we have amplified? Then said I, what are these horns and smiths coming to do? And he said, these are the horns of powers that have scattered Judah. Judah means praise. There are horns that have stopped families from laughing. There are horns that have kept people down. He said, so that no man lift up his head. There are families and destinies where no man has been able to lift up his head. No marriage, no joy, no prosperity, no increase. Their spiritual lives dead. He said, but these smiths or workmen have come to terrorize them. These are the carpenters that God is sending. Hallelujah. It says they have come to terrorize, to cause them to be panic-stricken, to cast out the horns or powers of the nations who lifted up their horns against the land of Judah. This is the year you will see the practical displacing of Satan. It will be a contention of light over darkness. Once and for all, the devil will give up over your life and your family. Please believe it. Please believe it. This is what dominion is all about. It's not about being commander-in-chief and telling people, come and clean my chair. This is foolishness. Dominion is the ability to be a light. Hallelujah. He said, those in Nepta and Zebulun have seen a great light. A great light has come to them. Distant shores and the islands will see your light as it rises on us. Distant shores and the islands will see your light. So there are horns. Remember our teaching, give me this mountain. Brothers and sisters, 
upon every mountain there are giants there is a spiritual dimension to this life hallelujah people do not just sit just succeed or or experience breakthroughs and increase but this year by the grace of god we will arise because our light has come and we will compel darkness to bow and all of these horns that have terrorized people and families, they will give way. One scripture, Psalm 110. Psalm 110, sorry, 110, verse 2. A popular scripture. We'll read it together. 110, verse 2. Let's read, it's projected. It says, the Lord shall send the rod. What is that rod? Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Hallelujah. That rod is the Holy Spirit. Because the Holy Spirit is the comforter. He said, the Lord will send a dimension of the Holy Spirit that will open men to light. And on account of that, he said, rule thou. Not in their absence, rule thou in the midst of your enemies. Many of you, your parents have not gone to the village for years because they know when they go, they will die. You are the one who will go and say, let me see the devil. Rule thou. Rule thou. This is the year you speak to somebody and say in the name of Jesus, let that barrenness be over and it leaves at once. This is the year somebody will come and lie down on your bed and get filled with the Holy Spirit and just get up born again filled with the Holy Spirit somebody takes tea in your house and goes back and unending breakthroughs because they just contacted light the Bible says the light shines in darkness rule thou the Lord will send the rod out of Zion see let me tell you your blessing is not authentic until your family members participate in it this selfish Christianity of chop a load, where it, the, the kingdom doesn't work that way. As for me and my Hallelujah. I went home and I saw dramatic levels of breakthrough in my house. I said, that's right. This is exactly how it should be. Hallelujah. The devil will be under your feet. Hallelujah. This is why we are teaching because the Bible says we should do this. But Hebrews chapter 2 tells us that we do not yet see all things. Remember our scripture? Let's look at it. Hebrews 2. Verse 6 to 8. That's why we need light to enforce our dominion. Hebrews 2. But one in a certain place testified, saying, What is man that thou art mindful of him? Or the son of man that thou visitest him? 7. Thou hast made him a little lower than Elohim. And crowneth him with glory and honor. Thou didst set him over how many? All the works of your hands. That means nobody can use what was created to do enchantment against me. The Bible says I've been given authority. How can a man use stone or use goat or animal and then make incantations? I pity the man that will call my name in a shrine. This is the year it will catch fire. Both the herbalist, the person who brought it. The Bible says Dagon fell. Dagon fell in the Bible. He has given him authority over all the works. All the works. Hallelujah. Thou hast put all things in subjection under his feet. For in that he put all things in subjection under his feet, he left nothing that is not put under him. But this is the dilemma. I said, but now... We do not yet see all things. Are you seeing why light is important? Without light, there's no dominion. You can claim it, but it may not work. It says the reality now. So it speaks to us about God's perspective. That this is what has been done. But right now, today, we do not yet see all things under his feet. But when light comes, it will grant us access to rule in the day and to rule in the Hallelujah. You believe this? These are the mighty things that God is going to do. 
Nigeria, the Lord revealed a few things to me. I'm not a prophet, but God speaks to me. And the Bible says, that which I tell you in the secret place, declare that on the mountain top. We need to pray for our government. I saw a lot of political chaos. In fact, a lot of chaos. Hallelujah. We need to pray a lot of chaos. We need to pray for the president that his life be preserved. Hallelujah. And then the Lord showed me I saw another terrorist group that is even greater than Boko Haram. Hallelujah. And they will begin to be pronounced again and again. And this is the wickedness that the devil wants to bring. This will not just be Nigeria, across the entire sub-Saharan Africa. Because it's an agenda. There is only one resistance to all of this. God. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I saw so many things. I told you last year. Or in 2007, the Lord told me, if you can remember. I said an economic recession was going to come and hit the world in a very great way. That was when I began to talk of massive kingdom wealth transfer. In 2008, I said, this is the year. And when it happened, I said again that this is the first one. Another one is coming. And the Lord told me this year, the economic recession will hit again for the second time. You can't pray against it. You can only exempt yourself. It's a written judgment. Hallelujah. It's going to happen. Very chaotic. It will humble the government of nations. Hallelujah. It will humble people a lot. Nigeria is going to begin to come to the limelight, especially in terms of economics. Last year I said that Nigeria was going to lead Africa in terms of economic empowerment. Go and read the newspaper, it has happened. With over about 400 billion or so ahead of South Africa. This is happening. God himself is bringing all of this. And there will be such a manifestation of deliverance in Nigeria this year, this thing called deliverance, you will see it in dramatic ways. It will no longer just be in churches because of light and enlightenment. Hallelujah. Deliverance. It will look like an object of mockery, but don't you criticize it because it's the, the preparing ground for the birthing of something powerful. I told you about Ghana, South Africa, and Nigeria. Nigeria is going to, is going to do a lot of mighty, mighty exploits this year. Forget about all the stories that people are saying. God is faithful. Hallelujah. I also see that the Lord revealed to me a number of things. We have to pray against them for many, not families here, but generally in the country. We have to pray against them. Hallelujah. And I saw one of the things that the enemy is doing is infecting people with incurable diseases. This one is no longer just, hallelujah, diseases that medical science may not even be able to detect. You just see people just dying. Hallelujah. I don't know when it will happen. But I will keep announcing it. I saw the death of somebody who was once a president in this country. Hallelujah. I had seen this two years ago. I was there in a vision. I saw his obituary. And every new year, God keeps reminding me. I honestly don't know when it will happen. But let's watch and see. Hallelujah. God is going to be doing 
great things. This year, we will experience levels of financial prosperity. Write it, write it, please, write it. I'm not just talking. Write it. It's one of the things God specifically told me. Specifically. If you don't believe it, no problem. You can believe the other things that we have as well. Yes, there will be an avalanche of wealth and prosperity. Praise the Lord. We need to pray against death. I saw a lot of ABU lecturers dying. A lot of ABU lecturers dying. This thing started last year. I began to caution this thing. A lot of ABU lecturers, especially professors. We need to pray because it's a demonic thing. It's not just normal. No. It's a very demonic thing. I saw a lot of academic exploits too this year. A lot of mighty academic exploits. Please believe me. Believe me. Recovery, restoration for people. Especially people who have been praying. I want us to pray so I'll just hurry up and just, I don't want to forget anything. Marriages. Miracle. Mighty, mighty marriages. I saw this one. It was so much I was surprised. Honestly, I saw marriages I was scared. Trust me. We will all live to see it. I don't mean here, yeah, Koinonia. Mighty, mighty marriages. Yes. How could I have skipped it? I saw a lot of marriages. Including those who did not even plan it. Yes, I saw surprises. Except, except, look, let me tell you, thank God we'll all be alive to see it. You will see people who did not, it was not part of their goal in January, but the hand of God will move. Just leave God to do what he wants to do. It's a year of light and dominion. That's why God said, can two walk together? Listen, listen. And this is the scripture the Lord told me. When Abraham took Isaac for sacrifice, there was no lamb yet. But he said, just go Jehovah Jireh. God will provide. And the Bible says, listen, when the obedience of Abraham was tested, he said, just go across, there is a lamb. On the second time, when Jesus needed to enter the city, he said, go to a city called Straight. You will see a coat that no man had ridden on it. Tell them the master has need of it. Believe it. I love saying things before they come to pass. Hallelujah. As a ministry, we will experience levels of expansion and impact. I saw it a lot. Levels of expansion. I saw a lot of people getting blessed from Niger, Niger Republic. I don't know what it is about that place, but I saw so many people from the teachings, Niger Republic so blessed i mean it was a wildfire it was causing a wildfire especially among the young people hallelujah there's so many other miraculous things that the lord showed me we will discuss it as we come as as the year um another oh i remember i must say it i saw something that shocked me well let me just say it still about prosperity I was taken in a vision and I remember I was standing in front of this church. This, the, the Equa church. And I looked and I saw an array of cars. In my mind, listen, listen. In my mind I was saying, uh -uh, a lot of cars right from that place down. And I was, I was, I was wondering. I said, Lord, what is all this one again? This is amazing. This is what you are going to do for families and for people. And many of them will be gifts. 
It will not be something that someone will buy. Gifts. Gifts. I believe. I believe. Lord, I believe. Lord, I believe. I believe. Manifestations of miracles, signs, wonders in a scale that will shock you. Families, I saw a lot of unbelievers. I saw a lot of Muslims coming here. I saw a lot of some of our family members that vowed that they will never come here. You watch them by themselves. You don't need to by themselves. The mighty things that God will do mighty things mighty things in the rain in the sun hallelujah these great things that god will do hallelujah do you believe these things i'm sharing hallelujah god will do this for the glory of his name praise the lord i wanted to say it to him personally, but Bishop, I saw you driving a Camry, right? Here. Brown Camry. I'd been struggling to tell him. God will bring a lot of prosperity, even in the house. You know, we had been planning for just one bus. You will be amazed to see what God will do this year. Amazed amazed. Not just because of Project 10,000. Hallelujah. See, the Bible says when Jesus was born, some people saw the light and they started coming with their gifts. They came with gold. They came with frankincense. They came with man. And the Bible says they started looking for that star. Nothing would deter them until they found the baby and they began to drop the gift. Watch out and see dramatic manifestations. People will just be sleeping and God will just wake them and say, come and bless the house of God. Come and bless the work of God. Hallelujah. And I saw this spilling over to many families. Even restoration. Restoration. Supernatural restoration. Hallelujah. Very quickly, so we'll pray. A few resolutions that I want you to adopt this year. A few resolutions. You need to make up your mind on some things. It's not enough to shout amen. He said, this charge I give unto you, my son Timothy, that you war a good warfare with the prophecies that have been spoken unto you. So when prophecy comes... The Bible says a virgin will bear a son. It never said Mary. Mary made herself available. Huh? The Bible tells us someone was going to betray him, Jesus. He never called Judas. Judas aligned with that prophecy. Prophecy is like rain. If you bring a bucket, you'll get water. Hallelujah. Number one. You must have a childlike heart of a learner. This year, 2011, you must increase your passion for insight. You must increase your passion. And this requires meekness and teachability. This is the year you throw away arrogance, MOG, MO, whatever. Just throw it away and humble yourself. Hallelujah. When it was time for Jesus to give them bread, he said, tell the people to sit down on the grass. That means if you are too big to sit down, no bread for you. He said, if you are interested in eating bread, sit down. Hallelujah. 
It says one thing is needful. Matter, matter. You are worried and upset about many things, but this one thing is needful to sit, not to stand and be staring at the master, to sit. A position that puts you in ancient times when a rabbi was teaching, the people sat down. Nobody will stand and be listening to a rabbi. So this is the year that you will sit down. You must have a passion in your heart to learn. Some of you, even when you come out to pray, the way you are praying, we know you are far from God. You cannot even construct a good spiritual sentence. You just mix everything. You just know that this is, you know how politicians talk. When they come on stage, they try to act like they know God. But their dictions betray them. One of the common things in any culture is their language. Hallelujah. Number two, you must have a resolve. You must have a determination to apply and live by the revealed truth. No matter the price and no matter the temporary challenge. You must have a resolve. A determination to apply and live by the revealed truth. These truths that you are hearing, it will not profit you. Please, those outside, make sure you are listening. If you cannot write anything, you can come and meet the media people and they'll give you, our messages are free after the meeting. Apply the things. It's not just what you know, but what you know, what you understand and apply. Hallelujah. Apply the truth. No matter the price. No matter the challenge. Number three. You must have a resolve to place God and his agenda this year above every other pursuit, above every other quest, and above every other ambition. You cannot give God second place this year. Hallelujah. So it's a time for you to go back and search. What have you put above God? There are many of us, you love God, you are born again. But for sure, God is not number one. You must make him above all. The true proof of love and passion is commitment. You cannot claim to love a man or a thing and not be committed. Doggedly committed. And let me use the opportunity to encourage you. Join a department. There are many of you that have been sitting here for one year, two years. You just come and find the place clean and you just start laughing. It's not good. You don't know how the chairs are clean. You don't know who swept what. You don't know where they had the rehearsals. And, and you are full of potential and grace. There is a dimension that only kingdom service can take you into. This should be the year. Many of us are afraid of commitment. Because we know we don't want to be serious with God. We don't want a situation where people will probe your life. There are many departments. Make yourself available. Hallelujah. Make yourself available. Huh? So just coming to sit inside and sit outside, immediately they finish the grace, you and your friend, you just run away. Serve the Lord with diligence. Hallelujah. Number what now? Four? Okay, just two more. Resolve to see the glory of God revealed in every area of your life. Make up your mind that this year, I'm not going to celebrate God in one aspect of my life and then have another aspect staring at me. That means you must go and write all the areas of your life. I have a series on prosperity coming, so I'm going to teach on that. But let me give you a preview that there are five areas of your life that you must experience prosperity. The word prosperity comes from the word prosper. It means to do well. First is spiritual prosperity. Second is mental prosperity. If you're a billionaire and you are mad, you are not... That that's, doesn't make sense. Is that true? Number three is your health. Number four is your finances. And number five is your relationships. These five areas. You must contend and tell God this year, I must have rest round about. The glory of the Lord must be revealed in every one of these areas. Five. Resolve to enforce order in every area of your life. This is very important. Many of us are so disorganized. This is the year you will grow up. In Jesus' name. Disorganized in every area of our lives. 
This is the year you bring yourself into a level of decorum. Have order. Hallelujah. One proof of excellence is order. When everything is done decently, when everything is done in order, order means efficient management of your time, your opportunities, your resources. Bring your life under divine order. No wasting of time, no wasting of resources, no wasting of opportunities. You must bring your life under divine order. Hallelujah. And finally, you must make a determination to spend time with God this year in worship, in prayer. Let seven days not pass. Let a week not pass that you will not dedicate at least a day in prayer and fasting. Those who built us spiritually did not teach us that prayer and fasting are part of the tools for efficient spiritual growth. So every time we do it, a lot of people just say, oh, okay, let's fast for 7 days or 21 days or 30 days or 40 days or 100 days or 200 days. And then after that, the people now say, God, I've given you all share of the year. Leave the other one for me. No. Fasting must be part of your life. At least once in a year. Or once in a week, sorry. Thursdays are a good time to fast. You can fast on Thursdays. Prepare yourself. You can't fast full day, at least fast half day. Quality half day. Quality half day. Don't wake up by 10 and, and pray by. See, you remember the resolutions we are making. Some of you are already laughing. Re this is the year when you will be serious with God. If you want true spiritual power, spend time with God in fasting. Don't let anybody tell you the era of fasting is over and so on and so forth. No, no. Thursdays, for instance, 6 to 12, 6 to 2, 6 to 4, 6 to 6, as God grants you the ability, very soon it will become part of your life. And then you will see the enormous spiritual capacity. He gave unto one five, unto one two, unto one one, not according to their prayer request, according to their ability. The capacity they gave him determined what he gave them. When the man with five increased capacity, he sees it from the person with one and added to him. It will enlarge. When there was no more vessel, the oil stopped flowing. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Our priority this year as a ministry will be to build, to equip and empower God's people. Even through these meetings, we will keep on doing what we are doing. The hand of God is here. By the grace of God, we trust that this year, God will use this ministry in a very mighty way. Hallelujah. That every week will be a time of an unveiling of deep truths, applicable revelations, that you will see transformation in your life. I was praying to God, and I, was, I think I was discussing with the welfare. I said, this year, by the grace of God, I plan, I, I, I don't know, I, let me not implicate myself here, but I pray that God will help me. Hallelujah. I want to make sure that as much as possible, every Friday I'm around. You see, because my primary assignment is not to the nations around. My primary assignment is to you first. If you are not well fed and I'm around making everybody saying Joshua Selman Koinonia and my own people are dying here. Reminds me of some of our parents, isn't it? They'll be dying at home and they are donating money in foundations and charities which is good but make sure your own people are well fed you can even add that as part of your goal this year that you will not do anything to anybody outside your family except God instructs that you have not done to the people around you hallelujah if you buy chicken for other people then it means that there is chicken in your house if God gives you an instruction, it's okay. But where you just get up and starve the people in your house to feed other people, it doesn't make sense. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. We trust God that we will experience healings, deliverance, and restoration and breakthroughs, even through the power of the Holy Spirit. We really want to take advantage of our counselings, our Monday counselings, 
from this night, officially, we've resumed work. Our counseling, we want to dedicate time to minister to the people. Our Friday programs, Koinonia, School of Ministry. Uh, more announcements will come on that, but we plan to take the School of Ministry very, very serious. It's a special time we have to train and build our students, our external administration, media ministry, and so on and so forth. We are doing a lot uh, in Koinonia this year. And as other instructions come by, we will comply accordingly. Hallelujah. See, after me, this is my year of light. It's my year of dominion. Hallelujah. Are you ready to pray? Rise up on your feet. We're going to take some quality time to pray. This is how to establish the prophetic word. We're not rounding up. We're praying. Hallelujah. I want us to take some time to pray. It says, this charge I give unto you, my son Timothy, that you war a good warfare. What does it mean to war a good warfare in prayer? To say, Lord, I receive. This must be part of my life. Hallelujah. Are you ready to pray? Please, I want you to pray instrumentalist. I hope you're ready. We're going to pray very, very seriously. Very seriously. Lift your voice and begin to thank him for the prophetic word. Say, yeah, of light and dominion. Begin to bless him. Thank you for the word, oh God. I believe the word. I believe the word. I believe the word. I believe the word. Make sure you are praying. Outside, everywhere, make sure you are praying. This is between you and God. You are making the word real to you. Lord, is my year of light, my year of insight, increased insight. I thank you for the word. I thank you for the word. I believe the word. I will see it manifest in my life. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We are going to pray. Supernatural insight into scripture. Say, Lord, open my eyes this year. Lift your voice and pray. Open my eyes, oh God. Show me hidden mysteries. Let there be an unfailing, a revelation of deep kingdom mysteries. Deep kingdom principles that are responsible for victory, for health, for prosperity, that will empower me to be an ambassador indeed. Open my eyes. The spirit of man is the candle of the Lord, searching the inward parts of the belly. Open our eyes, so oh God, that we may behold wondrous things out of your law. Give me revelation. Pray. Paul said, for this cause, I bow my knees to the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, that he may grant unto you the spirit of revelation and understanding, the eyes of your understanding being flooded with light, that he may know that she may know. Pray. Open my eyes, oh God. Open my eyes, oh God. Hallelujah. Insight. That you will just pick up your Bible and God will show you something that will set you on your feet. It will show you something that will open you up to a, another world of grace. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Listen. Listen. Two years or three years ago, one time I was praying and the Lord showed me a vision and that thing changed my life forever. I saw 
like a big, like an ancient door. And when I looked at it very well, I found out that there were small, small doors that made up that big door. And when I came closer, it, it was like they zoomed me. And when I came, I found out that on every of those small, small doors, there were scriptures written on it. And the Lord told me that whatever scripture that truly enters you, that door is open unto you. That means what is possible for some uh, may not be possible for Folato. Are you seeing that? The difference is that the light you are seeing is not sufficient to open that door. But the Bible says, I have set before you an open door. No man can shut it. Hallelujah. Prayer point number two. We are going to pray for understanding. It's not enough to have insight. Listen, listen. Take this prayer point seriously. You are going to say, Lord, all the principles that are responsible for the various areas of lifting, show me how they work. Show me how they work. Lift your voice and pray. Show me the keys of wealth, oh God. Show me how to operate it. Show me the keys of the anointing. Show me how to access the fountains of spiritual power. Show me the keys of holiness. Show me the keys of deliverance. Show me the keys that will make me command power even in my family. Make sure you are praying, understanding, and with all you're getting, get understanding. Know how it works. Know how it works. It's not enough to have keys. Know how to apply it for maximum results. Pray. Pray. Show me, oh God, the keys. Show me how to operate it. The Bible says they know not, neither do they understand. And so they grow up in darkness and the earth is out of course. Show me. I tell you, many of you as you are praying right now, God will begin to give you understanding. Show me the mystery behind the operations of wealth. Show me the mystery behind the operations of grace. Show me the mystery. What makes the spirit of God become so real to a man? Show me the secret of church growth. The secret of increase. The secret of influence. The secret of leadership. The secret of power. The secret of abundance. Show me, oh God, the mystery of doing business in deep waters of the spirit. Show me, show me, teach me, oh God. Hallelujah. 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 We are going to pray. Isaiah 48, verse 17. Can we protect that? Let's see. I hope I'm right. Everybody read it. You are going to pray and say, Lord, this year, you are going to direct me and my life will experience increase only. He said, I am the Lord that teacheth thee to profit. I can teach you how to do it and lead you in the way that you should go. Lift your voice and pray. Rekoto sekata. Divine direction. Let the stars shine. Let the morning stars shine, oh God. Lead me to the place of destiny. Lead me to the next level. I'm tired of confusion. Show me, oh God. Show me, oh God. Show me, oh God. 
Go ahead and pray. Maritally, give me direction, oh God. I cry for direction. Financially, give me direction, oh God. Academically, lead me, oh God. Let the star arise and let me follow the star. In terms of my career, lead me, oh God. Rekoto Seketa. Lead me. Show me in my ministry. Show me, oh God. Show me. Give me direction. Pray. Illumination. By light. I am the Lord that teacheth thee to profit and lead you. Show me, show me, show me, oh God, where you want me to be, what you want me to do, who you want me to connect with. Show me, oh God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Next prayer point. You're going to pray and say, Lord, let a new dimension of unction let a new dimension of power man to my life this year lord i want to move in the anointing in a level of grace he said and he measured a thousand cubits lift your voice and pray a thousand cubits and he was to my ankle for no man can do these things except god be with him pray my horn shall thou exalt like the horn of a unicorn and you will anoint me with fresh oil because thou hast loved righteousness and hate wickedness. Therefore God, even thy God, had anointed you. Thou anointed my head with oil. My cup runneth over. Pray. Lord, I'm moving in the anointing. Pray, this is the year you do business with the anointing. You do your job with the anointing. You minister with the anointing. You conduct your activities under the influence of a heavy unction. It says you have an anointing from the Holy One and you know all things. Pray, pray, worship team, pray. We minister with the anointing. Media, pray. The anointing takes us to another level. Prayer band, pray. We are praying with the anointing. Regoto Seketa. Koinonia, pray. This is our year of the anointing. Inside and outside, no matter how far you are, let that anointing take you. Walk in signs. Wonders, miracles. Let the sick be healed through your life. Let breakthroughs, let chains be broken. Let lives be delivered and restored. Let sinners be saved. Let the anointing make you a savior. Let the anointing make you a deliverer. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Two more prayer points and we're done. Please, everybody, participate. We're establishing the prophetic word right now. Hallelujah. Listen. This next prayer point is very important. You're going to pray. Listen. The Bible says, Arise. It says shine. And the Bible says in Daniel, I believe 12 or 22 or so, I can't remember, verse 3. It says, and they that be wise shall shine like the firmament of the heaven. And they that turn many to righteousness as the stars even forevermore. Listen, you are going to pray. It's not a selfish prayer. Don't pray for your neighbor. You are praying for yourself. You are going to say, Lord, display, show what you have put in me this year. My God, let men see the hand of God. 
go ahead and pray. Unveil it. Unlock it, oh God. In 2014, my year of light, I manifest. I am a city to my family, in my department, in my faculty, in my place of work, in my place of business. Let there be a showing forth. Show forth, oh God. Show forth prosperity through me. Show forth a healthy Christian through me. Show forth holiness through me. Show forth breakthrough through me. Let me become a portrait, an epistle. Show forth. Manifest, oh God. Manifest, oh God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Listen. Listen. There are many of us. This is the year your destiny helpers are so, I'm supposed to see you. Hold on. You are going to pray that that veil that has covered that grace of God in you, that unction, the Bible says there is this treasure. There are many of you, you have been relegated to the background. This is the year. This is the year. Say, Lord, arise in me. Come on, pray. Lord, arise. Let men see you through me. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. If you are looking for a vessel, I'm available. Let me be an epitome of the anointing, an epitome of wisdom, an epitome of wealth and prosperity, an epitome of leadership, an epitome of power, an epitome of revelation. Pray. Pray. Make sure you are praying. Hallelujah. Listen, brothers and sisters, this prayer is so powerful. There are many of you that have business ideas, but nobody knows. It's an idea that can bless you and stop hunger in your family. But nobody knows. When light comes, it exposes darkness. Let me show you a scripture. Galatians 1. Galatians 1. Let's just look at that one scripture. Galatians 1. Verse 23 and 24. Galatians 1. God wants to walk through you. Not for pride and arrogance. Are you getting me? I'm not talking of the kind of lifting and influence that takes you to hell. But they had heard only that he which persecuted us in time past now preached faith which once he destroyed. 24. Everybody read it. One to read. And what? How did they glorify God? That means when they saw what God did with my life, and they said, Lord, is this what you meant when you said you can bless people? Is this what you meant when you said you can use people? Are you ready to pray this prayer again? Lift up your voice. Say, Lord, I'm available. I'm available. Make a spectacle out of my life. Lord, make a spectacle out of Koinonia in 2014. Dr. Sasso, let there be a display of the glory. Let the nation see we are a city on a hill. They glorified God in me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You are going to pray for yourself now and your family. And say, Lord, it's also my year of dominion. Listen, you are going to pray 
He said, Lord, I don't just want to chorus this. It must be dominion. Dominion means absolute control. Are you listening to me? Therefore, pray that for you and your family, whatever has mocked God to your face, this is the year it must come under your feet. Lift your voice and pray. Dominion, oh God. Kingdom authority. Pray. Is it finance? Is it a terminal disease? Is it lack of breakthrough? Is it sin? Your family members are not safe. Pray. Get angry in your spirit. Those outside are you praying? Those outside are you praying? Record to secretary. Total dominion. No more fibro this year. No more getting sick and getting well. No. Pray. No more prosperity today and poverty tomorrow. You will not be on fire today and backslide tomorrow. No. The part of the just is as a shining light. It shines brighter, brighter. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Now you are going to pray for Koinonia. We are going to say, Lord, take us to another level. Take us to another level. Another level of impact. Another level of prosperity. Pair yourselves into three. Pair yourselves into three. Those who are lying down or praying, just leave them. Those who cannot stand, just leave them. I want us to pray seriously. Hallelujah. You're going to say, Lord, lift us up. We're not just asking for fame. We're asking for impact, salvation, transformation. Come on, lift your hands and pray. Let this place become Bethel, the place of bread. Bethel, the place of bread. If you love this ministry, pray. The ministry is not Joshua Selman. The ministry is you. Lord, a harvest of souls. A harvest of souls. A harvest of souls. A harvest of souls. Transformation, oh God. Drunkards will come here and become apostles. Prostitutes will come and become prophets. Your word is mighty and it prevails in our midst. Your word is mighty and it prevails in our midst. This year we experience character. We experience excellence at another dimension. We experience wealth and prosperity as a ministry at another dimension. Revival, oh God, let there be a fire of revival that will spark from here and spread to the nations and spread to cities and spread to campuses and spread. Pray. Pray for our Friday programs. Pray for the counselings. Pray for all our external ministrations. Pray. Pray for the miracle services. Lord, let every service be a miracle service. Beginning from this one, let every service be a miracle service. Let this place become a solution center. Let this place become a place of authentic miracles, authentic signs, wonders, breakthroughs, restoration. Let the sick come and be healed. Let blind eyes be healed. 
Let incurable diseases be cured. Let there be a mantle of healing, of breakthrough, of prosperity. May men come here and have their spiritual life fired up, fired up. Passion, oh God. Passion, oh God, for the things of the spirit. This is a place where we infect people with hunger, with passion, with fire for the things of the kingdom. Pray. This is a place of love, no discrimination, no discrimination. This is a place of love. Everyone is special. Everyone is honored. We will not teach error in this place. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. O oh, ye dry bones, O oh, ye dead finances, O oh, ye family challenges, O oh, ye oppression, hear ye the word of the Lord, O oh, ye challenges. Hear ye the word of the Lord. He said, Thus saith the Lord, I will cause breath to enter you, and ye shall live, and I will lay sinews upon you and bring up flesh upon you, and cover you with skin and put breath in you, and ye shall live, and ye shall know that I am the Lord. So I prophesied as I was commanded, and as I prophesied, there was a sound. There is a sound. This is why we're making sounds in the spirit. And as I prophesied, there was a sound. Bones, finances, health. I will reverence you, Lord. Don't sing, don't join me. Help me with the simba. I will reverence you, Lord. I will reverence you, Lord. For in your presence there is life everlasting. I will. I will reverence you, Lord. I will reverence you, Lord. I will reverence you, Lord. I will. For in your presence there is life everlasting. Tonight, every dry bone, hear ye the word of the Lord. Hear ye the word of the Lord. Hear ye the word of the Lord. I prophesy in the realm of the Spirit. Hear ye the word of the Lord. Hear ye the word of the Lord. I prophesy in the realm of the spirit. Hear the word of the Lord tonight. For in your presence there is life everlasting. For in your presence 
There are miracles For in ha, Your presence There is joy Joy everlasting So I will Reference you Lord Tonight with the throne principalities and powers and everything that defies the name of Jesus. Tonight we set free the captives and the oppressed. Lord, visit your people in a mighty way. In a mighty way. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. How many of you are ready for what God will do tonight? How many of you are tired of the oppression of Satan? Don't just stand in for yourself. Stand in for your family members. Enough is enough, oh God. Hallelujah. The Lord told me there will be mighty deliverance in this place tonight. Many of you do not know the power of deliverance. Bring the lady who will shout at the back. The power of God will come upon one lady at the back. Please let me have her in front. The power of God will come upon a lady strong at the back. Let me have that lady in front. Tonight, listen, I want your faith. reach its limit because as we begin to move in the anointing of the spirit I want you to receive forget about your neighbor receive for yourself for your family members if you brought someone here I'd like you to relax because God will do wonders in our midst hallelujah the lady at the back I'm seeing an angel walking I'm seeing an angel walking across this road. The lady is wearing something like pink. Pink. Something like pink. Something like pink. Something like pink. That's the lady. Bring her. She will come out by the power of the Holy Ghost. By the agency of the Spirit. Let her go now. Come out of her in the name of Jesus. Foul devil of darkness. Go. I see you in the realm of the spirit. Go now. Bring them out. Lift your hands everyone. There are many people under the oppression of darkness. The moment I shout the name Jesus. I tell you to be like a tornado. The power of God will hit you where you are. No devil. I bind every devil from the realm of the spirit. I hold captive every foul devil. Tonight, you will let God's people go. Now lift your hands, everyone. At the count of three, shout Jesus. And the power of God will fall. One, two, three. Every devil, Every 
Bring them out. The power of God is touching you. Every demon oppressing anyone outside. The power of God is falling outside. Falling outside. I rebuke evil spirits. In this row, in this row, the power of God is falling mightily. Come out of God, people. I expose the works of darkness. Falling on two of you outside. Hallelujah. Lift your hands. Every act of witchcraft and divination, many of you will be surprised what will happen in this place now. Because I'm seeing it in the realm of the spirit. In the name of the Lord Jesus. I command by the power of the Holy Spirit the wicked spirits of darkness that torment families and individuals and destinies you will be exposed now by the fire of the Holy Ghost the fire is falling right now the fire is falling right now across the congregation let the fire expose the works of darkness let the fire everyone under any influence the fire exposes darkness the fire abara na mala na matia na 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 shake it ara na bari ara ba this egyptians you see today you will see them no more forever Hallelujah. Come out of her now. Out of her in the name of Jesus. Come out of her. Foul devil of darkness. Go, go. I'm seeing you in the realm of the spirit. Out of her right now. Out of her, you're a wicked spirit of darkness. Out, I'm seeing a snake. This is what I'm seeing. Come out right now. Come out of her in the name of Jesus Christ. Go. This lady has been oppressed and her entire family. Come out right now in the name of Jesus. You must go. The light shines upon you. Go. Go now. You have oppressed this girl for long. Now in the name of Jesus, come out of her. Come out right now. Out of her. Come out of her right now. Out in the name of Jesus. Look at me. Turn and look at me. Come out of her now. Come out of her. Out in the name of Jesus Christ. You are a wicked spirit of darkness. Go, go. You will go in the name of Jesus. I'm seeing a snake lying down here. I'm not even seeing a human being. In the name of Jesus Christ, let this girl go right now. Come out of her. Now. Out of her. Now, devil of darkness. 
Lift your hands. God is going to visit families. Hear me. Please hear me. And some of you will represent your families. Are you hearing me right now? The devil is a liar tonight. Are you hearing me? The devil is a liar tonight. The power of God will come upon families. Families. Right now, whoever goes under the anointing, you're not representing yourself, but your family. There are things that need to be settled. At the count of three, all over this building, families be rescued. One, two, three. Kapa Pateka, Karata, Sete, Kerekoba, Babatata Lata Bakeria. Toto Kete, bring them out. Every family, every family, every enchantment, every divination against any family be delivered in the name of Jesus. Bata Tabalada, Bata Barata, Karatosa, Rabariata, Beketori Seke, Mabrikato, Ereka Likaba, Rabariata, Rekoto Seke Tekete, Bekeposhia, by the fire, the fire of the Holy Ghost, the fire of the Holy Ghost, the fire of the Holy Ghost. Apatakata, leka prakata raka, rakata prakata ba, aprosko so so prekete. It shall come to pass. The burden shall be taken from thy neck, and the yoke shall be destroyed. Go to reke, reko to so seketia. The power of God is still falling on families. I tell you, there are families being set free. This is what is responsible for the predicaments of many families. Tonight, there's no escape. The light and fiery presence. Mata Kabaya. Those of you outside, lift your hands. All of you outside, lift your hands. In the name of the Lord Jesus, like a mighty rushing wind, let the power of God move outside. Move outside. Move outside. Move outside. Families be delivered. Families be set free. Move outside. Kata ta ta ta. Rakata baba. Raposoto. Reketeke. Raposkose. Rekoskeriata. Mapata porokote. Raeke reketo. Raposke brondo. Kapriata kata shekete. Outside, the fire of God is falling. Son of man, can these bones live again? Son of man, can these families be revived again? Bring them in. Bring them in. Bring them in from outside. There are many of them from outside coming under the influence of the Holy Ghost. Bring this lady. You leave our family right now. You are a demon of darkness. Come out right now. Out by the power of the Holy Ghost. right now you are a foul devil of darkness out out right now out right now come out come out foul devil of darkness I 
I've seen you. I've seen you in the realm of the spirit. Come out now. Fire upon you in the name of Jesus. You're a demon of darkness. This is what is responsible for delay. Marriage, no marriage, no this and that. This is not the issue of man of God, pray for me. This is the issue of dethroning principalities over families. Come out. Listen, let me explain something to you. Listen, I've said it time and time again. You can be born again. Your salvation does not affect your family. It's a personal thing. Are you listening to me? These people in front are born again. They are tongue talking. They are not witches. This is the nonsense people carry around. This is about territory salvation these are the spirits responsible listen for delay delay in different things marriages there's a lady at the back this row the power of God is coming upon you right now fire upon her in the name of Jesus look up please look up Satan is very stubborn. He's not just going to pack his load and go when there are people who are servicing altars and covenants every year. Some of you, you're, you are born again. Bring the lady. Bring this lady. This is delay I'm seeing. Look at. This is delay. All kinds of delay in your whole family. Incisions were made in this lady's body. Have you not wondered, look up, there are certain issues that you go through in your life. You pray about it, you fast about it, the more you pray, the more you fast, nothing is changing. Why is it so? Hold on, hold on, don't let that lady not go. Look at my eyes. Please dress her, let's have a lady wrap something. Look at my eyes. Just look at my eyes. Look at my eyes. Try your best. Look at my eyes. Go. Let her go. Let her go right now. Name of Jesus. See, listen. The Bible does not teach us to sit down talking about demons all day and all of that. But let me tell you something. If you don't deal with the things that are putting themselves as strongholds in your life and in your family, you will be surprised that you can be born again and filled with the Holy Ghost. See, we like telling ourselves lies in church. Me, I don't have time for that nonsense. Are you listening to me? Everybody just wears suits. And then we just, and the devil is oppressing people. Who is Zainab? Zainab. Zainab. Please, let's save time. Zainab. You are Zainab. Look at me. The Lord is bringing deliverance to Zainab's family. out of her right now and her family. Out in the name of Jesus. You will see a nice pretty lady like this. Then eventually things will not move on in her life. Bring this lady. Look at my eyes. Look at my eyes. I'm speaking to the spirit not the person. Don't worry. The spirit is hearing. Look at my eyes.
Your reign in this family is over. It's time for you to go now. Now, go. Just let her go. Come. Lift this lady for me. Sweet her. Family needs a lot of. What is this one that I'm seeing? You have an elder sister. Where is she? Is she married? Eh? She lost the guy. It's not that she lost the guy. Because I'm seeing anyone that wants to ask people to out keeps dying. This is what I'm seeing. Look at me. Look at me, sister. What happened to the guy? He was shot. He was shot. Are you hearing what I'm saying now? So now you see this lady and you are happy. Satan, come out now. Come out, you wicked spirit. Out now. Now. Come out. Let our entire family go. problem is, when you want to deliver a family that is not ready to give up things that are evil, it takes the mercy of God. This is the situation we have here. Now I see you. You will leave this family. Go! seen a man that is as tall as 20 feet. Go! Now! Victory! Victoria! Victory! Victory! The victory of Victoria now. What's the name? Victoria. Come. Look at me. The Lord brings salvation to your family tonight. You believe that? your hands on your stomach. Look at me. Look at me. Shout Jesus as loud as you can. Alright? Are you ready? One to go. You're free in the name of Jesus. I want to pray. Listen. I want to pray for those with heart conditions. Any kind of heart condition whatsoever. Lift your hands. Hole in the heart. Abnormal heart, heart condition. These two ladies, come. Come, tonight is your night. You and you. The lady lifting her hands and the lady close to her. Are you friends? God is visiting two of you. Come and stand here. Sister. It's the presence of God. Look at me. Look at me. Just look at my eyes. Two of you need deliverance before impartation. out of our family. Right now. Uh -uh. Hey. Bring this lady. Look at, look at this. A lady suddenly comes by herself and now she cannot look at me again. In the name of the Lord Jesus, 
Let her go. Let her go right now. Come out of her. Come out right now. I've seen you in the spirit. You are going. On your mark, get set, go. Go, go. Heart, heart, heart conditions. Where are they? Please come out quickly. Heart. Just dress this ones aside. Every one of you will be visited mightily by God tonight. Heart, please come out quickly. Hold on. There's, the Lord is showing me someone. You have like epileptic seizures. Who is that person? You can fall down and convulse. Who is the person? Ep it started when you were young. Who is that person? Let me see your hands quickly. I need to pray for that person. Epileptic seizures. Because this is very demonic. Epileptic seizures. Look at me. How many of you believe you will be healed? What's wrong with you? Yes. Heart problem. Come. There is one of you, you had a dream. It was after that dream you started having this heart thing. Who is that? You had a dream. Come. You forgot to set you free. What's the problem? Give him. What's the problem? There was a day that I was sleeping in the dream. I told somebody that the person just saw it. Hey, they are now shut and now look. Since then, my heart. They sit down. They sit down that the heart wants to. I was. I want to give up. Anytime. This is not heart problem, my brother. This is the spirit of death. Are you listening to me? This one is not hard. You think it's hard problem. Put your hands here. Look at me. Just look at me. Out of him now. In the name of Jesus. Be healed now. In the name of Jesus. I'm going to pray for you quickly. As I pray for you, just receive. Go back, check yourself. In the name of Jesus. Come out of her. Come out. You are wicked. Come out. Out of her right now. Come out now. Wicked devil. Aha. I've seen you. Come out. Out of her right now. This one is not hard problem. Look at me. Look at me. Just look at me. Look 
up, please. Those of you who brought sick people, please, we'll, we'll start ministering shortly. But I want to pray for people who, please stand up, everybody. Stand up, stand up. Hallelujah. The Lord is specifically asking me to pray. I'm going to pray. You won't come out. God will bring you out by himself. Um, the Lord is showing me people who are oppressed in your sleep. In your sleep. You are sleeping in the night. There's severe oppression of the devil. Whether a man or a woman coming to sleep with you and all those kinds of demonic things. The Lord is going to set you free from it. Lift your hands, everyone. It should go. Lift your hands. Father, even as you have revealed this to me in the name of Jesus, please keep the hands as high as you can outside too. The gates of evil over lives and over destinies. Oppression and manif manipulations of darkness even in dreams. My God, right now, let the power of the Holy Spirit sweep across this congregation and bring deliverance to those many people. In the name of Jesus, now lift your hands. Now, 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 Kato Shatayata, Rakata Reza, Bavere Ketekosu, Baratos Kotia. I give a word of command in the realm of the spirit. That oppression goes. Go, 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 go. Bring them out. Oppression from your dreams. Molestation in your dreams. Rekete bosoto balaka. Lord, this one's in front. By the power of the Holy Ghost, be set free right now. By the power of the Holy Ghost, I bring you freedom. An end comes to this devilish oppression. You will go. You will go. Go. Go in the name of Jesus. You will go by the power of the Holy Ghost. You will go. I'm seeing this lady being oppressed. A man is... Go! Go! By the fire of the Holy Ghost. Come out right now. Come out right now in the name of Jesus. Out of her. She's free. Leave her. Be gone forever. Come out right now. Out. Come out of her right now. Out by the fire of the Holy Ghost. You are going in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Come out right now. Come out. Fire upon you. Fire upon you in the name of Jesus. You are a wicked spirit. Look at this. This is somebody that came happily and nicely. You see the things we are talking about. The Lord Jesus is against you. Fire upon you right now. Come out of her. Come out in the name. Look at her assuming the character of a man. This is a lady. This is a lady. Out in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Where's the other lady that came? 
Now, be gone. Leave her. Leave her. She's free. sick, you are sick in your body, whatever it is, you are sick in your body, it's time for us to minister to you, and we are going to be prophesying and opening doors of restoration in families, are you following me now, so as the worship team ministers, Mosati will play the saxophone, as the worship team ministers, no, 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 hold on, she's not done, sister, look at me, come out of her right now, Hallelujah. So, if you brought a sick person, now is the time to bring them to the front. Very quickly. Very quickly. While the worship team gives us a song. Wherever you are, know that the power of God is there. Those outside, make sure you are full of expectation. Quickly, quickly, let's have the sick people. Please, ushers, direct them. Quickly, quickly, please. You are sick in your body, you came with a sick person, especially those coming from outside Zaria. Come and line up quickly. Pastor Jakes, Bishop Sand. Quickly, quickly, please come and line up. Ushers, help me arrange them. Arrange them in lines, please. Some of you are outside, running here, it's time for your healing. Healing Hallelujah. Pastor Jesus. Edgemi, now we're going to minister to you in the power of the Holy Spirit. Listen to me. As we begin to minister to you, in the power of the Holy Spirit. For some of you, it's demons that will need to go. Whatever the sickness is, just know it's going to go right now. Those of you who are standing, you can connect for your loved ones. Don't be distracted, please. Oftentimes, at moments like this, the devil will start distracting people. Now is the time to be sensitive. You can be where you are, and the Holy Ghost can be doing his thing with you. Hallelujah. As hands come upon you. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Sister, look at me. Just look at me. Salvation comes to you. We're going to begin to pray and minister to you. As hands are laid, worship him, help us. Hallelujah. As hands are laid upon you, expect a miracle. Whatever it is, barrenness, delay, sickness, what if it has a name, it has a need tonight. Hallelujah. Worship team, help us. Please, those of you at the side, please make sure that you just join us while we lay hands on you. Check yourself. Go back to your seat. Check yourself.
to go back and check yourself. you out with a loud shout you are going out go go now go 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 on your mark said go you're free thank you Jesus the demonstration of the authority of light over darkness Make sure you are praying. Harapo Shalabandi. Whatever the sickness is, it will go. As we pray for you, make sure you go back to your seat, giving thanks and rejoicing. It doesn't matter what is wrong. Fire 
right now. Come out. Come out of her. Come out. Come out. Come out of her. Out, my devil. Come out of her. Fire upon you right now. Come out in the name of Jesus. Out of her. In the name of Jesus. Go. Your time is up. Over this family. Spirit of poverty. Go. Go right now. On your mark, set, go. Go. Go, go, go. Go, you must go. We cast out right now. you go. Let her be free right now. I'm telling you, the presence of God is mighty in this place. I'm seeing families, the curse of delay, marital delay. The Lord is showing me over families.
Mark gets set, go. Right now, I set you free. Every manifestation of darkness, go. In Jesus' name. was the son of God made manifest that he may destroy the works of the wicked. Someone has a problem with the left side of your ears. The left side of your ears. Who is that person? The left side of your ears. It's as if there's water. The left side of your ears. The Lord is opening it right now in the name of Jesus. The Lord is opening it right now in the name of Jesus. The Lord is opening it right now in the name of Jesus. The Lord is opening it right now in the name of Jesus. The Lord is opening it right now in the name of Jesus. Put your hands there. Look at me. Just look at me. Free. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Listen. The Bible says, and I will restore to you the years that the canker worm has eaten. The palmer worm. Please 
be sensitive. Everything we are doing here tonight is very prophetic. And I will restore to you. There are two families here that need major restoration. The Holy Spirit is going to bring them out. They will come out by themselves under the influence of the Holy Spirit. Two families. Wherever you are, I subject you to the influence of the Holy Spirit. Two families. You will come out by the power of the Spirit. Leave them alone. They will come out by themselves. There's one more family. By the, by the influence of the Spirit. Major restorations. One at that side again. One at this side again. What is an angel doing there? At the back. At the back. I'm seeing an angel moving at the back. I'm seeing an angel of the Lord moving at the back. They are all coming out by themselves. They are going to come out by themselves. This will be the sign that they are, that is the prayer point I'm talking about. Major restorations. Major restorations. It's the Holy Ghost that will pick you. A lady from the back will start running out by the power of the Holy Ghost. All of them, you will come out. Don't, no, but don't hold her. She will run and come out by the influence of the Holy Ghost. There's still one more lady at the back. I'm seeing an angel of the Lord there. There's still one more lady. The power of God will take you. This is a sign of restoration. Come out. Come out. Come out. Come out by the influence of the Holy Ghost. Come out. Take a telekaramos. Everyone that belongs to this category, the sign is that you will run by yourself. You will come out by the influence of the Holy Ghost. It's a prophetic sign for speed. The Holy Ghost is bringing speed into your life. Let our family go. Come out. Come out. Come out. Our family must go free. The fire will burn you until you let this family go. These families, mark these families. They will experience major, major breakthroughs in a matter of days from now. Days from now. There are still some people at the back. The Holy Ghost is visiting more and more people. Families for restoration. Families for restoration. My Lord, major, major restoration. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 8811252. 8811252. You or someone in your house has that number. This is part of the 11 numbers. 8811252. Come out. 8811252. And then I'm seeing the last digits of your number again. 774. A Zay number. 774. 774. A Zay number. A Zay number. These families must be free, oh Lord. You are the lady. You are the lady. 774. Zay number. Do you know me? Do you know me? Come out of her right now. Out of her. Something mighty will start happening now. All of them will start laughing. This is a sign of victory. This is a sign of victory. This is a sign of victory. 
laughter. All of them will begin to laugh. They will begin to laugh right now. The laughter is a sign of victory. I tell you, it's a prophetic sign. They can't control it. I'm seeing it. I'm seeing doors opening in the spirit for their families. Thank you, Jesus. Now, listen. Some of you may sit there, you are wondering what is going on in this place right now. This is not Joshua Selman. This is the Holy Ghost. This is the Holy Ghost we teach about. Japheth, lift your hands. God is taking you to a new level of the prophetic. Take it now in the name of Jesus. Lift your hands. The Lord is visiting you. Take it now in the name of Jesus. Blessed Jesus. Worship team, hold your hands together. It's time for you all to enter a new season. Hold your hands together. I'm telling you, a mighty anointing is going to come upon the worship team. A mighty anointing. Hold your hands together. It will move from Yinka like a mighty wind. It will pass. Move right now. The power of the Holy Ghost. Look at I'm seeing an angel moving. It's like fire. It's moving in a mighty way. My God, let no man stand. Let it move in a powerful way. All across in the name of Jesus Christ. Ushers, all of you come out. Ushers. Ushers, quickly. All the ushers, come out, please. The Lord says to prophesy a new season for you. It will start from this sister, you. The power will start from you and move this side and move that side. Lord, let it be right now. It's not about falling down, but then it will come with power. Right now, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Take it right now. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. It comes like fire upon you. It's setting you for a new season in the spirit. Mark this lady. She'll begin to have a lot of prophetic dreams. It's five of you. The power of God is coming upon you. In a mighty way. Mighty way. All of you in this row, from this brother to that lady, please hold your hands. I don't know what it is. This, yes, just you. Lift it up, please. An angel of the Lord wants to walk from my sister with a baby right to my brother there. Lord, let your power move right now. Across that place, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Media, just be seated. Don't stand up. Be seated, but hold your hands together. I want to pray for you. At the count of three, I'm seeing a whirlwind. One, two, three.
There is a lady. You had a dream yesterday. You saw me ministering to you. There are not many times these kinds of revelations happen. Who is that lady? You're a lady. You saw me ministering to you in a dream that you had. Please come out. There is a lady. Please, let's save time. You still have some other things to do. Sister, you are entering a mighty realm in the spirit. I want to open a gate right now. Efata, be open. An impartation is coming upon you. You will never be the same. David, the Lord is restoring your family in a mighty way. And even you, the Lord is bringing order to your life. There's a lot of chaos. Your life is scattered, very scattered. Let your life come back to order. Hallelujah. Ushers, collect the prayer requests. Please pass your prayer requests quickly. Gabriel, Gabriel, Gabriel. Help her. Patala Kaporadia. There's a mighty move of the spirit in this place. God is just visiting people. Make sure you don't those outside don't think you are not part of this ushers ushers look at me look at me liver come out come by yourself come and stand here come and stand here this lady is strongly influenced by spirits come and stand here just stand and wait for me here Right here, stand and wait for me here. Gabriel, my brother, the Lord is bringing you to honor. 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 Mark this word. Go and write it. Huh? In exactly eight days from now, something major is going to happen in your life. Go and write it. Honor. Ushers, collect the prayer request quickly because we still need to prophesy and open up doors and activate the gift of the spirit. This lady loves God but has been influenced by devils. It's now time for God to anoint you and take you back to your family. Are you listening to me? A prophetic fire will come upon you today that you will never recover from. Lord, You will never be the same. Never be the same. Those on Facebook are online community. Quickly, quickly. Please, ushers, gather them and then let's bring them. I'm seeing a family. Someone is on a stretcher. A woman. An elderly woman. Is it your mother or your auntie or something? On the bed. Looks like a stretcher. The Lord is saying, I should announce to that person that they are getting up. You are the one? Come. Where's the mic? What happened? Eh? My auntie. Who? My auntie. Your auntie. Where is she? 
She's in my hometown. She's in your hometown. Ah. Where's your mother? My mother is at home too. Your mother is at home too. Is she fine? Yes. You need to pray for her because what is happening to your auntie is supposed to happen to her. Let's go pray for her. Do you believe me? Do I know you? Jesus, let there be perfection in this family. Let there be life. See, you know why I'm laughing? I was going to tell you what the Lord is showing me. I'm telling you, many of you, your family members are going to be surprised at the breakthroughs. Mark the month of May. Mark the month of May. Mark the month of May. Many of you don't know why I laugh. I laugh because of the things the Lord shows me. The sister jumping at the back, standing close to Shade's brother, run from where you are and come. I didn't say walk, I didn't say catwalk, run. You don't know why I'm asking you to run. Look at me. It's the season of speed for your family. Where's your father? Your father is late. You know why I asked where's your father? Do you know what killed him? Yes. What is it? He was poisoned. Your father was poisoned. And this is something that they want to do to another member in your family. Are you listening to me? Yes, sir. Debbie, God is visiting your family, but lay your hands at her back. Just lay your hands at her back. Just her back. The, the anointing is for you, not for her. Just lay your hands at her back. Father, visit her right now. Visit her in a mighty way. It's not you, I'm not ministering to you. This is the person I'm ministering to today. God is bringing financial restoration for your family, Debbie. You have suffered a great deal, financial restoration. Now it's time for you to be ministered to. Restoration in the name of Jesus. How many of you believe what God is doing in this place tonight? As soon as we pray on this request to the ministers, many of you by now know that every time we agree on requests like this, miracles erupt. Many of you, as we are praying, your prayer points, you will start receiving the answers right where you are. Hallelujah. Sas, let me invite the servants of God. Please, Jake's cup to me. this request we are not opening it but I'm seeing here marriage for your sister the Lord says it won't pass this year this request I don't know who has it marriage for your sister I'm seeing a lady hold on time what is this before we pray someone in your family has stomach started protruding People even thought she was pregnant. It's not pregnancy. Who is the person? Come out. Ah, this is satanic. Oh. Who is the person? There's someone, somebody's stomach. In, no, 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 no. This, you, you are not, I'm seeing the lady, like um, what they call it, this lady's hair. But this type that is, how do I describe it now? Help me, Holy Spirit. Where? Who is the person, please? Someone's stomach is a lady in your family. Is coming out there even thinking she's pregnant. You think she's not pregnant. Hurry up, my sister. Let's save time. Who is that? You or someone in your family? Someone in your family. You believe in Jesus? Very well. Look at me. Look at me. Very well. And you believe you help your family. Because, my dear, there is a lot of salvation that needs to happen in your family first. Hmm? A lot of salvation. You too. You were scared? Why? This is a family. Please, 
when you, when you hear a word, don't be scared. Madam, why are you out for who? Eh? What is this? Lord, we bring perfection in the name of Jesus Christ. Come out! Stretch your hands towards the prayer request, sirs. Honestly, I want you to believe. Stretch your hands. It doesn't matter how impossible the requests are. Just stretch your hands. Lord, in the name of Jesus, the Egyptians that we see today will not see them anymore forever. In the name of the Lord Jesus, Stretch your hands. Make sure you are praying. I hope this is all the request. Father, in the name of Jesus. Answers have been released. Answers have been released. I'm seeing answers like light being released from these requests. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Miracle marriages, oh God. Miracle jobs. Academic breakthroughs. Financial breakthroughs. Salvations of loved ones. Completion of projects. Father, we thank you in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, for we know that the requests here are not beyond your power. Thank you, for we shall begin to celebrate the answers even from tonight in the name of Jesus. None of the requests here, your hand will not bypass them in the name of Jesus. Thank you for great miracles in families and in the lives of individuals in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Celebrate Jesus with me. Now just give me a few minutes and we'll be out. Somebody's story is about to change. Forever. Believe me. Mossad's come, please. Let's do this. Just blow. Lift your hands, everyone. Lift your hands. Fire upon you right now. Everywhere in this building. An impartation. An impartation. An impartation. Let it come strong. From my left, my right, all across this building. Outside. 
outside. New levels, new dimensions. Take it, take it, take it, take it, take it, take it. You will run like Elijah. Let it hit you like a tornado. Let it hit you where you are. Let it hit you with power. Like a mighty rushing wind. Take it in the name of Jesus. 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 Hey, So You become unbeatable. You become untouchable. I put a mark upon you. I put a seal upon you. The seal of the blood, the seal of divine protection, the seal of greatness. I put a mark upon you. 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 The mark of the blood, the mark of protection, the mark of victory. Lift your hands. I command doors of supernatural favor. Hear me in the spirit. Be open unto God's people. Koinonia, receive favor. 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 I program your spirit. Take favor. Completed project in this place. I command, let the Lord visit that project before the end of this year. Completion of houses, projects in the name of Jesus. Every delay in relationship or marriage, I cause it to its roots now in the name of Jesus. Every plague of barrenness, inside and outside, everything called barrenness in your life, I curse it right now in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I command a restoration. Whatever you have lost, in the name of Jesus, a sevenfold restoration. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Look at me. I want to break the curse of poverty over families. I always do this. Everybody look at me. I want you to bring out a seed. You know that we don't, if you don't believe it, just keep your seed, please. Bring out a seed. Bring out something that will touch you. Just lift it up. Many of you will be surprised at what will happen to you tonight. Inside and outside, please share with somebody who doesn't have. This is not about money. This is about spiritual principles. Please bring out a seed. Lift it high above your head. I 
Praise God for the salvation of families. Lift it high, please, everyone. Please make sure you are holding something. Just lift it. Lift it high. Now watch what happens. There are spiritual and physical principles that bring wealth and prosperity. Hallelujah. For many people, you have done the physical ones. But certain spiritual forces of darkness are keeping the blessings of family. Just lift it up. Many of you will be surprised. Just hold it. Because that will be... Your, uh, just lift it. Just lift it. Now the power of God. Every family suffering under financial curse. Just lift it. You'll be surprised. Right now. Lift the seed to heaven. My God. Like the sacrifice of Abel. Visit it now. In the name of Jesus. Katapokoto zata. Rakatalata bokaya. Poverty be gone. I cause failure and poverty. I tell you, doors of finances are opening. In the name of Jesus. Let your seed speak in the realm of the spirit. My God, let it be a symbol. It took a sacrifice to bring poverty. Let this sacrifice end it. In the name of Jesus. It took partnership with the realm of the spirit for the cause of poverty to come in families. By our partnership with the Holy Spirit, we introduce a new era of undeniable, inexplainable financial blessings. Just lift it. Just give me 10 seconds. God is going to visit people right now. All across, financially, 10 seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Do it, my God. Let your people know that you alone are God and that besides you there is no man. Lift up the seed now. I declare supernatural increase in the name of the Lord Jesus. I pray for your seed. Let it go around this universe. Gather its kind and return back to you. I command it, go around the universe, gather anything that looks like what you are holding, return it back to you. I instruct it, go around all earth, hear ye the word of the Lord. Job says, as for the earth, out of it comes bread. Cast your seed gloriously, ushers, locate them as they drop it. Please do that quickly. Let's round up. I'm telling you, God is going to surprise many of you from this meeting. Believe me. Believe me. God is not a, a man that you should lie. Many of you right now, as the, as the power of God is touching you, your family members at home, God is visiting them. Hallelujah. 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 Look up. Everyone under the sound of my voice, I declare to you that in this next month of May, if your ears can hear my voice, I pray, my God and my King, let it be a season of honor beyond your imagination. I prophesy as one sent from God. If I be of God, I pray that this next month, my God, let there be testimonies of honor. It's a season of supernatural exploits. 
I prophesy supernatural honor. I provoke it from the realm of the spirit. There's someone, your dad is a banker. He was taken away from the bank because of a case. Next month, before now I'm 14th, you'll be reinstated again. Hallelujah. Now look at me. If you're here, listen, everybody keep standing. And you've never made a decision for the Lord Jesus Christ. Or you've once given your heart to the Lord and you found yourself derailing. Now is the time to make a genuine commitment. The Bible says, as many as will come, he will in no wise cast away. We're going to give you an opportunity now, inside and outside. You probably were invited by someone, or you've been here, and you've seen what the Lord has done. You've seen the wonders of God. And the Lord is giving you an opportunity for a fresh start. As I count one to five, please, inside and outside, as a family of faith, i like us to celebrate such people. Leave your seat and run out right now. Everyone, one. Leave your seat and come. You are welcome. Thank you, sister. Thank you, my brother. Outside, we're inviting you. Come and make Jesus Lord of your life. Appreciate them, Koinonia. God bless you. 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 Don't sit back. There are still some more people outside. There are still some more people outside. There are still some more people outside. My sister, I see you. God bless you. I see you. God bless you. Appreciate them, please. Hallelujah. Keep coming. Hallelujah. Now, look at me. I salute you for making this bold decision. Hallelujah. The Bible says, as many who will come, he will in no wise cast away. This is the beginning of a real journey for you. Are you listening to me? Lift your hands, all of you in front. Say after me, Lord Jesus. Please say it from your heart. Lord Jesus, I believe you are the son of God. I'm unable to help myself. I repent of my sins. I believe you died for me. You rose again for my justification. Today, I confess you as Lord. I receive your sacrifice and your love. I declare that I'm born again. I receive eternal life in my spirit. In the name of Jesus. Satan, you have no place in my life. I am free from every ordinance of darkness. In the name of Jesus, I am free from every ordinance of darkness. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Look at me. Thank you. This is the best decision you have ever made in your life to make Jesus Lord of your life. Now, the ushers will lead you. You will follow them in one minute and then Pastor Jakes will be meeting with you tomorrow. There will be a follow-up for you. What time, sir? What time? Seven. Seven tomorrow. Please come into chapel. You'll meet with Pastor Jakes and he'll follow you up. God bless you. Celebrate them, everyone. Hallelujah. If this is your first time worshiping with us in our April Miracle Service, jump like a champion you know you are and run out quickly. Celebrate them, Koinonia. Come on, come out quickly. We want to bless and prophesy over your life. Wow, wow. I tell you, run like a champion. I like these guys. Look at them. Koinoni, are you celebrating Jesus for what he's doing? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you so much for coming. This is Koinonia. How many of you were blessed tonight?
you will never be the same. I assure you, you will never, never be the same. You will know that you met the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Thank you so much for coming. Dearly beloved, I hope you were blessed by this message. Do not keep the video to yourself. Share to as many as you can to help them bless. Check our homepage for more of our messages. Subscribe to the channel. Comment on it. Like it. See you on our next video. Bye. Pray. Pray. Pray for your destiny. The phase of development. Lord, grant me the discipline.